Welcome back for yet again some more Mountain Blade Warband with the Legler mod installed. So last time we just raided some more, increased the party size and that's basically it. And now we will just uh, do the same bloody thing. Because, well, I don't really think we are just yet at a strength to be, uh, uh, well, to really head up against people. So we really want... Uh, certain skills in in our party for instance we want the ability to uh, no not like this we want the ability to train our guys very uh, easily so we will get the trainer uh, skill i believe we can already upgrade ourselves yes we can nice so just uh let's see trainer it's already a two well fuck me uh let's see the trainer skill is mm. Not this one. Running shield. What is it? Uh, yes, it is. So intelligence needs to go up anyway. And that means we can still increase our tactics, perhaps? Uh, sure, let's increase the tactics. Why not? And we can increase, you know, happen weapons as well. Okay, and now we want to go for, I suppose... Suppose we could get in a little battle, of course. Uh, there we go. Just loot and burn this little village. Hopefully we will. Uh, <coughs> hopefully we will not be intercepted by anyone, because of course the Austrians are very busy at uh, wait, making war. So doesn't look like it. So that's nice. Okay. Come on, any day now. Thank you. I'll just take it all, of course. Okay, all the meat, all the pork, and all the fish. <coughs> as far as we can get, all the fish. Okay, and <laughs> eight cattle, also nice. So drive onward. And we'll just uh, sell that stuff in Grotno, I suppose. No, Captain, I do not like to see us attack innocent villages. Oh, well. Just go back in the line, you know, I don't really care for you. <coughs> it's basically the easiest way of making money, and war is war, you know? It's not like uh, I'm gonna. The enemy would do the same if it were up to them. Okay, horse breeder. Get all this nice stuff off me. Uh, there we go, and tailor as well. Sure. No. Um. And there we go. This guy has some money for us. Okay, tools. Excellent. Someone else, Minsk. Yeah, sure. Also, sell Minsk as well. And then uh, we will make a graduate retreat to France. And of course, we want to increase our party as we can. Okay, we can't really increase anyone else. The units, at least. And, well, not really gonna bother with, uh, with the uh, NPCs just yet. They're not. Uh, I'll do it once they actually have grown quite a bit. Okay. Uh, fresh beef. Nice. Oil. There we go. And we might want to also check uh, Minsk, the tavern of Minsk. It's quite a fancy one. Uh, we've got a farmer and we've got Artimener. Which I believe is still from the Mountain Blade series itself because I believe this, uh, or the, you know, the original, I believe this guy, yeah, he has quite a nice sword. I believe this guy is uh, an engineer, which is always nice. Okay. Ah, oh, say, friend, are you by chance heading out of, ta of town anytime soon? I am. What concern is it of you, may I ask? I'm an engineer. There we go. Specialized in the art of fortification. If you need a wall down, knocked down, I can do that given enough time. If you need a wall built up, I can do that too. Although it will take longer and cost you more. And you can't cut costs either unless you want your new... Uh, Edifice coming down underneath you, as someone around here has just found out. Okay, the the castellan, the castellan, castellan here in Minsk wanted a new tower added to the wall. Trouble is, he ran out of cash halfway through the process before I could complete the support. I told him that I uh, would that it would collapse, and it did. Unfortunately, he was standing on it at the time. Okay, uh, the new Castellan 
didn't feel like honoring his predecessor's debt and implied that I might find myself charged with murder if I push push the point. Okay, well, we'll just you know, accept you, I suppose, 300 francs. So, the weird thing is, because this guy does look uh, as if he is still from the uh, Mountain Blade, you know, the, the vanilla version, you know, he has quite a nice sword there. However, his dialogue is added. Uh, is, is you know is changed to fit this scenery, so that's, that's nice, I suppose. Tavern keeping, tavern patron, tavern, tavern. <laughs> Speak of the devil, a second one. Really, please be a trainer of some sort. Okay, what do you want? Uh, merely to pass the time of day, man. Uh, if you are otherwise engaged, ah, well, if you must know, I shall tell you. Okay, that's a lot of dialogue. Okay, I am from an old family in the northern lands, the daughter of the fane and also wife to one. I fought by my husband's side, his partner both in war and in peace, but my husband died of the plague when I was still childless. Uh, my husband had de decreed that I should inherit this land in the absence of an heir. My brother-in-law, cursed be his name, said that it was not our custom for women could that women could inherit a fandom. That was nonsense, but this gold, uh, but his gold bought the losses of enough of my husband's faith, faithless servants, for him to install himself in my hall. So I fled. Sometimes I was a, sometimes something I was raised never to do, and something I hope never to do again. Okay, so she doesn't like fleeing. Okay, okay, I can offer you opportunities. Sure, five hundred francs, bitch. Okay, fair player. And coach card. Oh well, now we actually have two embassies more. Nice. And I. So let's see. Mafeld, talk. Okay. Uh, what are your skills? Your skills are. Leadership. Okay, that's interesting. And well, she's just another very strong character, I would say. And let me see your equipment. That Nordic sword. There we go. Balanced officer scimitar, so yeah, tribal warrior outfit. Sell price is quite high. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, sure. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I've had to. <laughs> wow, that's a little bit weird. I suppose. It's not even that bad of a weapon either, you know? Oh well. <laughs> sure, uh, never mind. So we now have a Nordic sword. Okay, and we've got 69 characters. Nice. No pun intended, but hey, you never know. And uh, let's uh, go around Kursen. And okay, the Rhineland has made peace with them and has also made peace with Russia. Prussia has made peace with Russia. Before or after Russia took anything from you, Prussia? Uh, don't know. Oh well. <laughs> it's weird. On the one hand, this armor is a little bit better. And I do not really believe you can get that much uh, in, this, um, in this rank. Okay, just so you know, I cannot uh, abide the insolent amount mountebank dandy Dunel. some minutes ago i was remarking to our com companions how th the peasants of this region uh, were more than usually slack jawed and beetle brood and speculated that perhaps they had bred with apes okay dandy Dunel, that fond of impulsions overheard me and called me ig ignorant and a savage <laughs> and other words i do not care to repeat it was only out of respect if you, for you, that I refrained from cutting his throat. Honestly, you know? Oh, well, you have my support. And fuck Dandy. <laughs> Honestly, so, the, for some reason, you know, uh, the dialogue fits correctly. So, you might want to think of it like it is not a problem. Or, you no, know, the reskin is not a, a problem. Oh, well. Uh, marketplace. Can we sell some more shit? We've got pork, which is old. And let's go back. I believe we also have. No, we don't have anyone, uh, any cattle left. Okay. 
Oh, we'll just go back to split again. Okay, little little commission. But yeah, I mean, one of the things that is a little bit uh, perhaps could have been done different is the commission uh, system. And not per se the commission system. Oh well. Uh, my lord, barbarian woman month, Mafeld, Mafeld. Uh, complaint of headaches as a possible symptom of excess of sanguinity. Uh, I thought to apply my leeches, okay, but when I tried to affect, affix them, she recalled and struck me and accused me of witchcraft. Captain, I am deeply tired of attending the compliment. Complaints of such an ungrateful and ignorant lot. Okay, um, well, you will, uh, you will have my support. I mean, if you're gonna help her with leeches, which is actually something you that works, so you know. We'll balance it out, you know. Nobody likes me, nobody hates me. That's, I suppose, the way I want to go with it. However, I was talking about, Okay, what's this? Oh, false bands. I almost like, die. But I was uh, talking about the uh, the system. So, because in the beginning, you only get, like, a wage of a soldier, you know. Ten is... Uh, plan the battle with the enemy. Oh, we can plan it. Huh, interesting. Uh, dispatch orders, repair orders, scrap all. Um, infantry, archers, cavalry. Initial, let's see, hold. Oh, that's nice. So, you can actually have these orders fixed, I suppose. But yeah, uh, as I was saying, you know, in the beginning you only get like a wage of, uh, of a soldier. So, in my opinion, or... In, the way I, I see it is that the opening, so you know, the opening is that you just deal with a guy. The opening could also be that you're just in a ginormous battle, you know, for, you know, this is the war of the coalition. So it could be like Napoleon against uh, against Austria and Russia or so. And, and that way, you know, you survive the battle, you then get a battle commission. And then after a while, you get more battle commissions and then you are free to lead people because... Also, the problem is that your uh, party size is already quite large. In the Mountain Blade Vanilla version, you do not have so many... Uh, yeah, you don't have uh, so many troops in the beginning. You only have like 30 or so. And now I already can command 80, which is a little bit... a lot. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, back to 10, back to 10, back to 10. Uh, how about... Uh, he says, we'll just, you know, take to the fields, lead your troops, we'll just lead the troops, so then we will need to have, well, okay, we're just charging this shit ton of cavalry, I suppose. Cavalry, hear me, follow me, with my awesome uh, Nordic uh, tunic, sure, and my eastern scimitar, and all, well, all that stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it would be nicer if the... If you could already have a higher commission or so, it would make more sense for a soldier to be in an army instead of leading an army. But yeah, you know, it's just uh, one of those things. Every charge. Just kill them all, you know. It's a nice, nice little training session for you. Dark, it's rainy. We have the numerous adventure advantage, and you know we've got cavalry. Honestly, who fuck lost his cavalry? This is it's horse. Who did? Quite a lot of people actually did lose their horse. <laughs> Weird. A large bag of musket cartridges. Yes, please. A hunting musket. Huh, cannot be used in a horse back. That is unfortunate. We'll just take the shit. Four francs and we killed some guys. Okay, beg your pardon, sir. Pierre Ducot uh, uh, might have been a very good thief, but he's not good. Uh, got the stomach uh, to be a warrior, if you ask me. Okay, after our last scrap, I was slicing open the guts of some some our foes to check for hidden gold. As a girl, as a girl who counts her pennies odd. Uh, really? Okay. He gagged and muttered that I was an animal. I'll inspect his. In it for the con contraband if he doesn't keep a civil tongue. 
in his head. Okay, uh, sure. This is again against Pierre Duco. Honestly, that, that guy never shuts up, does he? Oh well. Uh, welcome back, people. We are here to raid you for a second time. If you don't mind. And the Italian people are yet again going to help us, are they? Very, very nice of them. Okay. For some reason, they are helping us, of course. And there we are. Okay, excuse me. I hope you don't mind me telling you that, in my opinion, that girl Harold or Kelly. How is it a girl? Honestly. Oh, well. Is a danger for the party. She's a feral brat, disrespectful of authority, and basic principle of military art. Okay, well, oh, Harold or Kelly, sure, we'll just you know, support him. Okay, and now we have this nice lot. So we will only keep uh, 175. We'll just toss this shit. Take this, which is always good. It's always good stuff to have. Okay. Can we actually increase uh, our party's experience again? Yes, we can. Two dragoons. Nice. Infantry will be now militiamen. One. And... Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's uh, now go back, increase our party size even further. And perhaps we can do some missions for Napoleon himself. I mean, why not? We could also, let's see, we now have quite the money. Okay, which is always nice. And uh, we'll just get some more line infantrymen. Sure. Marketplace, gunsmith, masterwork dueling, AP, or double barrel pistol. Hmm, carbines, honestly. Perhaps the French did not have carbines, I don't know. Um, hunting musket, a large bag of musket cartridges. I kind of want to hold, hold on, on the, to these. Uh, I'll just sell them anyway. Spices, uh, spices are actually worth quite a lot. You can't really pay me. Okay, now. Um, sure, here we are. Horse breeder. Spirited Russian horse. Uh, it's not better than my... my. Uh, no, it's not. Not even better than my heavy hunter, honestly. Come back when you actually have something worth, you know, full. Uh, okay, here we are. Taylor. Okay, and... Well, okay, that's basically it. Did we already enlist volunteers? We did not. Uh, more line infantrymen. Okay. And bam, recruit some more line infantrymen. And now our party is almost full. And I think it's also time to... Okay, oh, Captain, just so you know, there's something funny about Artimianer. Okay. He makes strange crawlings in the dirt and mutters to himself. Of course, he's an engineer, you know. I fearing witchcraft, I ask him about it, honestly, you know. Oh, fuck, I misclicked. Witchcraft, honestly. He's just painting, oh well. <sighs> he's just getting some of his, uh, his designs right, you know, for trebuchet or cannon or, you know, wall construction, you know, support, what he was bitching about. Oh well. Uh, carbine pistol? No. Okay, Taylor. Sure. Mm -hmm. Pottery. Smelling chicken. Okay, and now we will go to the, let's see, military depot and either buy ourselves some cannons. Or a commission. Let's first get the commission, then get the artillery pieces, because, well, why not? I suppose. So, headquarters. Anyone here? Anyone who wants... Uh, there we go. Here, here are some of these ladies. So we'll just talk to them as well. Regimental Liesel. Okay, I would purchase myself. Okay, lieutenant is quite expensive, but sure, we'll just buy it. 13,750. You look like a primitive beast, but hey, at least we know... Uh, Okay, I suppose the next one will be even more expensive. And now we're just uh, Lady Evelyn. Okay, my name is Colin Moriarty, of course. At your service. You know, we are here to at someday rule the Irish Kingdom, of course. Colin Moriarty, I don't believe I've heard of you before. Okay. May I have the honor of knowing more about you, lady? Okay. 
I'm a wife. Oh, you're you're already married. Fuck you in that case. Uh, Colin Moriarty at your service, and oh, you're also the wife. Is there like a unmarried virgin woman somewhere? You know, I'm too am unmarried. I too am most likely a virgin. You know, Catholic. Uh, the Catholic Church, you know, kind of wants that to happen. Oh well. Um, inventory, we still have... Really? We still have quite a lot of money. Good to know. So we can already buy... Um, let's see, Enter Depot, Arsenal, we can already buy our first 12 pounder. Nice, for 3,000 francs for some reason. And the second one we can't, <laughs> because reasons. Okay, and with the upgrade, we now can also have more men, which is always nice. So, next time, uh, so this is like the end of this episode, next time we will um, most likely go uh, do some missions for Napoleon or something. Continue the raid as long as the uh, das Kaisertum is still uh, at war with France, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, I'd like to thank you for watching, and as always, please leave a comment down below, expressing your opinion about the series, or just a comment, you know, all is well, and... Bye.